What is going on YouTube? Um, back obviously with another Red Wing video. Uh, shoe, a boot review, Red Wing video. Um, you obviously clicked on this video for a reason, not just to hear my annoying fucking voice on video, but to get the real honest review on these uh, Red Wing boots. So let's get started. Um, I guess I'll explain why my insoles are rubber band up like this, and that's because uh, I actually just picked them up from my local Red Wing store. I had to get these bad boys restitched by the heel. Um, let's see if we can focus, yep, yeah, right there. So from the heel all the way to pretty much the midsole right here. Uh, this side wasn't as bad, but I think they still restitched it. Um, that was the only issue I had with these boots, and I've had these for, man, yeah, close to four years. These boots do wonder. Real comfy, by the way. Um, these are the original uh, soles, the black ones. These bottom ones are my Dr. Scholl's. I just slapped on top of them. Eh, okay. Obviously, you're going to get wear and tear, Red Wing. Uh, under Red Wing warranty, you are not going to get new insoles. They'll just restitch whatever the fuck came unstitched. And uh, if you're lucky, they'll, uh, not if you're lucky, but you have to tell them if you want your boot polished and shit like that. I, I didn't give a rat's ass about that, you know, since I'm just using these for work. But anywho, these are the Style 411. Uh, Red Wing boots. Sorry if you guys can hear that airplane. We live by the fucking airport. Anyways, these are, these are the style number uh, 411 Munch Traction Tread 8 inch, uh, eight inch boot. Uh, I believe these we these are the uh, these are electrical hazard and just waterproof. Um, and yes, definitely waterproof. I've worked in the rain in these boots. Uh, I don't know how many times, but definitely did not feel a drip in my boot which says which uh, definitely says something you know um these were at the time i got these these were just shy over 200 bucks and uh, i just went on red wings website to look these up again and um i think they're like 215 or something like that if comment below if they're a different price near you uh and that's a good price for these uh, i don't think they should be any more than than uh than that price for sure uh great quality boot um speaking of quality they are made in vietnam you might not see that worn ass fucking tag in there this one too yeah you won't see it these are made in vietnam not usa like these bad boys that i uh, reviewed my last video beautiful boots I recommend these by the way guys buy these Anywho, so as you can see, I laced one boot up for you guys. Show you the style. Don't mind that little yarn. They're on both of these boots. Uh, they had my name tagged on them so the lady could find them easily. Um, but yeah, look at that. I mean, I beat the fuck out of these boots, you know? Love these boots. And I have to admit, there is nothing better in life than a fucking comfy shoe or a boot. Am I right, guys and gals? Uh, I mean, yeah. They might look like garbage now, but boy, are they not... If these are not the most comfy boots I own. And yeah, look at... I'll show you guys, obviously, the bottom here. I'm surprised they still have a little uh, tread in them, to be honest with you. I mean... Obviously, they got worn down over the years. Look at that. Real smooth. You can almost lick it. I'm kidding. Don't do that. You'll get fucking sick. But anywho, real good boot. Traction is surprisingly decent still for what it is. Uh, this is almost four years later after I bought them. Uh, yeah, I mean, obviously, that's the inside of the shoe looks like a piece of shit because there's no insole in there and then got this right over here beautiful 
Great boot, guys. Um, if I to get my honest opinion about these, I'd buy them if you're uh, if you're definitely outdoor a lot, outdoors a lot. Or no, I take that back. If you're not outdoors, uh, these boots aren't insulated. Um, you'll feel the cold right through these motherfuckers. I'm um, sure you can uh, double up on some nice thick wool socks. That's what I used to do during the harsh winters here in uh, Chicago. Uh, but, you know, th that that even did the job right. So, I guess I, I take that back. You know, if you're working outside, just throw on another, just throw on a wool sock. You'll be fine. You know, simple as that. If you're working indoors, even better. Uh, these things will last you God knows how fucking long. But, great boot, guys. Uh, please. Leave a comment below on uh, what boot you want me to review next. I do have my Masabi Lager Red Wing boot still to review, and I will upload a video of that soon, guys. Um, just been real busy here, you know. But anywho, um, I'd recommend these for sure. These aren't bad boots. Clearly, they've lasted me almost four fucking years. Still here. Um... Great boot, go. I mean, real, real great boot, though, you know. So, yeah, guys, uh, please subscribe, leave a comment, like the video, or just don't do any of the things, just view the video. And, uh, all right, guys, take it easy, and, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys soon. All right, guys, bye.